हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ हरजोत सिंह एंड आवर कंपनी इज़ लार्क इंजीनियरिंग कंपनी इंडिया बेस्ड इन यमुनानगर इन हरियाणा दिस टाइम इन पोल्ट्री एग्जीबिशन वी डिस्प्लेड आवर न्यू डिज़ाइन दिस पैलेट मिल दिस पैलेट मिल कैपेसिटी इज़ अराउंड 25 फाइव मेट्रिक टन पर आवर एंड विद लेटेस्ट फीचर्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजी देन वी डिस्प्ले वन पैलेट मिल मॉडल the pellet plant model uh, of uh, 20 metric ton per hour uh, this is a poultry and cattle uh, this this feed mill can produce both poultry and uh, cattle feed uh, and the capacity is around 20 metric ton per hour uh, if we start uh, from the feed mill the first process is the um, batching process this is the um, intake chain conveyor and the different dumping points are shown here as the plc operator commands the labor uh, for the dumping the material like the different materials the dorb rice bran maize soya doc mustard doc etc uh, the labor puts the material to these respective dumping points then uh, with the help of this transfer chain conveyor the material goes to this bucket elevator uh, at the intake of this bucket elevator there is a drum sieve or uh, jute remover that filter all the uh jutes coming uh, from the gunny bags along with the raw material then this bucket elevator elevates the material to the top and the next process is the magnet filtration system uh as there are iron impurities uh, in the grains uh, we have to filter those iron impurities uh, that may cause serious damage uh, to our machines like the hammer mill router the screens the beaters we have to filter all the iron impurities with the help of this uh, magnet system this is a special designed magnet system uh, self cleaning because it's very difficult uh, with the hands to pluck the iron particles and to clean the magnet but in this case this is a self design uh, system uh, as we pull the tray uh, as we pull the handle uh, all the material uh, comes to the collection tray then after this magnet filtration system there is a transfer conveyor for the batching this conveyor this conveyor as this is not the standard uh, feature of the feed mill but uh, due to the uh, uh, the number of batching bins are more like there as there is there are 16 batching bins so to um, place the material uh, perfectly and to for a better approach to the rotary distributor we have to place one conveyor there then uh, below this uh, conveyor they, these are the rotary distributors that guides the material to to these respective batching bins these these are the different batching bins we can uh, use for the different materials like for the maize the soya doc the rice bran broken rice and uh, mustard gluten and uh, different materials we can uh, store in these batching bins then below these batching bins these are the two way hoppers these two uh the plc operator just have to uh, select the recipe and the number of batches as per the selection and the number of batches all the batch comes to these to these way hoppers uh, these the uh, way hoppers are based on load cells uh, we can get the perfect uh, batching uh, and weighing uh, in with 0.2 to 0.3 percent accuracy depending upon the weight the dose and the ingredient behavior then below these Uh, way hoppers there are the dumping hoppers uh, to to con to convey the material to this uh, grinding elevator these are the two bins uh, in stainless steel 304 uh, sometime in cattle feed we have to add salt and urea and we have requirement as there are some lumps in urea and the salt we have to crush uh, in the hammer mill so these two uh, hoppers Uh, automatically weighs the urea and the salt and connects to the hammer mill elevator that go, conveys the material to the hammer mill then there is also one more magnet system uh, to um, uh, filter the iron impurities then one one good feature that we installed in this feed mill is this pre mixer as there is uh, grain and fiber uh, both in the recipe so um, uh, in the in the fine screen like 3 mm screen it's very difficult to crush the fiber and the grain uh, especially the fiber uh, due to the jamming and the flowability issues so what we do we premix the fiber and the grain low density fiber and the high density grain in this vertical premixer 
so so that the high density uh, grains provides the weight and momentum to the fibers and helps in the grinding process then there is a buffer hopper above the hammer mill that stores the material before the hammer mill then before hammer mill there is a rotary vane feeder that controls the feeding uh, with the with the help of the vfd uh, it uh, sends the amperes of the main motor and uh, controls the feeding as per the amperes running amperes of the motor so that our motor can run safely then this is the hammer mill we the hammer mill in our feed mill is at the ground floor to avoid the vibrations and the plant height the structural and all things and ease in operation this hammer mill crush all the ingredients to a similar particle size as per the requirement as in poultry the particle size range is around 600 to 900 microns and different in the cattle and the aqua feed so with the help of the screens and the adjustments we can get the desired texture of the grains so after this hammer mill the next process is the mixing process this elevators elevates the material to the top then there is a buffer hopper batch bin above the mixer then th there is a special designed double shaft pedal mixer uh, the special designed the mixing time is just 2 to 3 minutes in this double shaft technology uh, we get the we can get the cv less than 3 even less than 2 so this is a 2 ton batch mixer we can get a 10 grams dispersion in 2 ton this is a highly efficient mixer in this mixer this, this is, there are the um, we can add the medicines and after the few minutes dry mixing then we can add the oil then the, from the mixing process the material comes in the surge hopper and with the help of this pedal conveyor all the material this pallet elevator elevates to the top and comes to the pallet bin there are two pallet bin that i'll explain a bit later when i when i will explain the recycling elevator the purpose of the two pallet bins from the pallet bins with the help of this screw feeder all the material comes to this molasses blender we just have to add the percentage of the molasses in the HMI screen and uh, automatically all the blender with the help of the VFDs, the flow meter uh, comes to this uh, molasses blender for a good and efficient mixing. We, we not, not uh, recommend uh, molasses addition in the mixer due to the stickiness, due to the flowability issues and contamination and the cleaning. We suggest to add the molasses in the molasses blender with the help of the HMI and the PLC system. Then from this molasses blender, the material comes to the palleting section. These are the three conditioners. The purpose of the conditioner is to add the steam for moisture addition, for better gel gelatinization of the starch and the better, better cooking of the material. These are the two conditioners and one hygienizer. Uh, with the help of this hygienizer, this hygienizer is uh, VFD based. We can get the desired retention time. Uh, with respect to the requirement, we can go from 40-50 seconds to even 120 seconds. So these are the three uh, conditioners uh, and the hygienizer that uh, help in the pelleting process. Then below conditioner, this is the pellet mill uh, that converts the, all the powder to the granules with the help of the dies and the rollers. And the next step is the cooling process. We require immediate cooling after the pelleting as to um, get the good PDI, good quality and to avoid the recycling, the requirement is the immediate cooling after the pellet mill. So th this is the counter flow cooler. We have a special designed circular cooler uh, for more uniform cooling and the more uniform air flow. This cooler cools with the help of this blower. This is the blower from the at the top floor. The blower uh, sucks the air from the bottom of the cooler uh, and uh, there is a in cyclone in between the blower and the, the cooler as there are few suspending particles that comes along with the hot air. To recover those suspending particles, we place one cyclone here that uh, conveys all the material to the recycling elevator. Now we, we add one more feature in this pellet, mill, uh, pellet plant, uh, the recycling elevator. As in case of the recipe change, we have to wait 20 to 25 minutes uh, to clean the line up to the cooler and to clean all, uh, to uh, cover all the recycling that comes from the screener. So we have to wait 30 minutes uh, to change the batch. So with the help of these two pellet bin and this recycling elevator, all the recycled material comes, finds, comes from the cyclone and the screener, comes to the one pellet bin and we can use other pellet bin for the next batch. Then uh, after the cooler, there is a crumbler to 
reduce the particle size of the feed as per the requirement. As there are few dust and the fine that uh, produces along with the crumbling process, there is a screeners to filter the fines and the material. Then there are the bagging bins and the auto bagging machine. We can get the feed a as per our requirement. And there are more additional features like the metal detector, the automatic weighing, all these things. And from these uh, auto bagging machine, we can get the bag of the desired capacity 25 kg, 50 kg, 60 kg as per the requirement. So this is the complete brief of a feed mill. And this is the PLC control room where the operator sit, PLC operator sits and command all the uh, PLC reports and the, can get all the PLC reporting, MIS reporting, inventory management system, all these things he can control from this room. So this is a complete view of a feed mill. For, for more details, uh, you can visit our website.